Hey everyone, this is Pastor Larice. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, this is uh, one of our Advent lessons. Advent, we know, is the time that in the church we celebrate Jesus and celebrate Him coming to the world on Christmas. So we are going to jump right in and recite our memory verse from last week. Let's see who remembers it from Romans 5 verse 8. It says, God shows his love for us in that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. And if you memorize that verse, very good job. This week's memory verse is Hebrews chapter 8 verse 12. For I will be merciful toward their iniquities and I will remember their sins no more. So let's memorize that verse and work very hard to be ready for next week. So as I said, this is uh, another week of Advent and we are looking at joy. Joy uh, is an important topic when it comes to Christmas. Uh, we know that Jesus brought joy to the world. Just like the song says, joy to the world, the Lord has come. So it's really important for us to understand what joy is. Joy is a biblical word. It means it's a word that is defined by the Bible. So in the Bible, uh, joy is something that Jesus gives us. It's something that the Holy Spirit gives us. And we need to understand what it means. And joy is different than happiness. So happiness is when you feel good because of something and it usually lasts a short amount of time. So if you eat a really good lunch, then you feel happy when you're eating it. But guess what? A few hours later, you're gonna be hungry again. So then you won't be happy anymore. If you um, wake up uh, in the morning, sometimes you're not happy when you wake up until you uh, actually take a shower and get ready and fill your energy. So happiness comes and goes. You could be happy one second, you could not be happy the next second. But joy is based on the things that don't come and go. Joy is in our hearts because of Jesus, because Jesus is permanent. God says he never changes. Jesus came to this world and he gives this world joy because he gives us a gift that can never run out, that can never change, and that can never lose its power. Jesus gives us the gift of salvation, forgives us of our sins, and he gives us many, many other gifts like being with us, like giving us guidance, giving us the Holy Spirit, all kinds of things that Jesus gives us. Now on Christmas, you might be really happy when you wake up Christmas morning. I know that I am. I'm happy to open presents. I'm happy to give presents. I'm happy to eat and to have parties and all kinds of stuff, fun stuff that we're gonna do. But maybe the next day you might be tired again. You won't be happy. Maybe uh, in a few months, the presents you got, maybe they won't work anymore or you don't use them that much, or any kind of reason they don't make you that happy anymore. But Jesus came to the earth and gave us uh, eternal life. He gave us forgiveness of sins. He gave us things that we need every day and that we're never gonna lose, um, our, our, we'll never lose their power. So that's why we say we have joy because of Jesus instead of just happiness. So we have to remember that the Fun things we do for Christmas can give us happiness, but only Jesus can give us joy. So that means even if you don't have any of those things, you can still have joy in your heart because Jesus is the ultimate gift, the biggest gift, and He came on Christmas morning. That's when we remember that He came to this earth. So let's pray and thank God for the gift of Jesus. Father, we thank you for Jesus. Thank you for sending Him to this earth. We pray, Lord, that we would all have joy, not just happiness this Christmas, but we have joy thinking about who you are and all that you've done. Bless us all and watch over us. In Jesus' name, amen.